Good day everyone, Mayong Unto Satanan. This is Marissa, the Filipino wife in America. Do you have problems about bringing your dog here in America? My dog is in here with me. I'm gonna help you with that issue because today that's the topic I am going to talk about. In this video, I am going to tell you the latest requirements imposed by the CDC here in America. If you plan to bring your dog here in America, you have to watch this video and follow all the requirements that I'm going to tell you. Yes. Now, previously, when I came over with my daughter, with my dog as well, the requirements back then in 2019, before the pandemic, were easier than this time. Yes. So we were just lucky because we were not asked about the vaccination from the U.S., so our vaccination from the Philippines was fine. However, this time after the pandemic or starting last July 2021, CDC here in America imposed new guidelines for vaccination if you want to bring your dog here in America. Yes, what's the reason behind that? Watch this video. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you enjoy my videos, please hit the notification bell so you will be notified on my next video. As of July 14, 2021, there is a temporary suspension for dogs entering the United States from high-risk countries for dog rabies. <laughs> Okay, so I am giving you here the list of high-risk countries, which unfortunately includes the Philippines. find out what are the requirements of the CDC since July 2021. Take note of this. If you wish to bring your dog that was vaccinated outside the United States from a high-risk country, you must apply for a CDC dog import permit at least 30 business days or 6 weeks in total before you intend to enter the United States. CDC will not issue dog import permits upon arrival in the airport. If you arrive at the airport with your dog and you came from a high-risk country and you don't have a valid U.S.-issued rabies vaccination certificate or a CDC dog import permit, you will not be allowed to enter the U.S. And your dog will be returned to the country of origin at your expense. On the other hand, if you come from a low-risk country or a rabies-free country, which is not on the list of high-risk countries, you are not required to present a rabies vaccination certificate or CDC dog import permit to enter the United States. Here's another important thing. When you enter the United States, you must provide written or verbal statements that the dogs live in the country that is not high risk for at least six months or since birth. Those who are not from the Philippines too, you can look into the list of high risk 
countries if your country belongs in there. Here are the things you need to consider. Dogs vaccinated in the United States by a U.S. licensed veterinarian are eligible to re-enter the United States from a high-risk country without a permit if the following are present. Here's the list of the 18 airports which are approved by CDC. Here are the requirements when you apply for dog permit. Now, if you have other questions on how to bring your dog here in America, you can leave the comments down below. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you enjoy my videos, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you will be notified on my next video. Thank you!